What is up, Backroad Explorers? I'm really excited to be able to show you our new to us 2012 Jeep Rubicon. To tell you a little bit why about I switched from the Land Cruiser to the Jeep, you have to know a little bit about my heritage with Jeep. Growing up, I always wanted a Jeep. I absolutely loved them. In high school, my parents were kind of looking to get me a car that I could run back and forth from school and sports with. So we started looking at a bunch of old, kind of junky Jeeps, because that's what I wanted. And in that process, my dad, who's always wanted a Jeep, decided that rather than picking up a junky Jeep that he would never want to drive, he was going to pick up a really nice Jeep that he would love to drive, but I could also use the run back and forth. So he picked up a 2004 Jeep Rubicon. I absolutely fell in love with it. From driving around in the desert in Arizona and in the mountains in Utah, it just became something really special to me. And over the next eight years, I drove it all through college, fell in love with it. Lauren and I were exploring in it when we were dating. It was our first rig as a family, absolutely loved it. But once we started having kids, it really didn't make sense for us to be our primary driving around vehicle. So we decided to sell it. From that moment on, I've missed being in a Jeep. So. When I started getting into off-roading and this overlanding and things, I really started exploring rigs. And I decided that probably the best and safest thing for me to do jumping in from a price standpoint was to pick up a used 2000 Toyota Land Cruiser. That's what I've been in for the last two years and I absolutely love that thing. It's taken me to a ton of incredible places in completely stock form and I've absolutely loved it. And really, I wanted to start building it out to make it a little bit more capable. but. Because it has 265,000 miles on it, I decided I should probably get something that's a little bit lower mileage wise and a little bit newer. And so that kind of got me back into looking for a vehicle and I've really been missing being in a Jeep. So I pretty much had my focus on three vehicles. 100 Series Land Cruiser, Toyota 4Runner, Mike has one of those, I've loved it, he's loved it, and a Jeep Rubicon. And every time I thought about it, I loved the Toyota Land Cruiser. I found a lot of really cool 4Runners in the same price range. I just miss being in a Jeep. And so I decided, you know what? It's something I love. This is a great opportunity to do it. And it's an awesome platform to do what we want to do as a family, exploring back roads in Utah. And so we picked this baby up. The Jeep has just over 45,000 miles on it and already has a few upgrades that I'm really excited about. Knowing that going from the Land Cruiser to a Jeep was going to cut down on space, I knew I was going to add a roof rack to my rig. The previous owner had already added a Gobi rack, which was one of my top choices, and I'm already loving it. Not to mention, it is the boy's favorite thing about the Jeep. Additionally, it came outfitted with aftermarket front and rear bumpers. The rear bumper has a swing out and is reinforced to handle the large tires. While they're not the bumpers I would have chosen, they'll work great for now. I'm also very excited about the Smitty built XRC8 winch. We do a decent amount of exploring on our own and having a winch adds an extra level of confidence knowing that if I got in a tough spot and didn't have another rig with me, I would have a way out. The Jeep is currently running Nito Grappler Mud Terrain tires. They are a fantastic tire and have a great reputation and so far I've really liked the performance. However, they're probably not the best tire for the type of terrain that we cover being in the desert in the winter and in the dry mountains in the summer. But with over 65% of tread life left, I plan to run them for at least a year before jumping to an all-terrain tire better suited for our needs. For now, I plan on mostly focusing on adding storage and other organization equipment to better utilize the space. As I get to know the rig better and what it will need, I can then start making decisions on upgrades. As a family, we're very excited about the adventures we'll be having in the Jeep and look forward to sharing them with you here. Thanks for watching.